Hi guys, welcome to the Sickass channel. Um, my name is Alexandra Wissingham. Today I'm going to be answering a few questions and giving you some guitar tips, hopefully, because now's the best time to start practicing. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I think sound wise, like mostly with me, it's down to nails. Long story short, I have to wear one false nail on my A finger and I have done for probably about 10 years um, and probably will always have to. But yeah, I, I try to use, I try to use like my own nails where I can because I don't particularly like using false nails. This is probably quite controversial, I have to say. <laughs> I talked about this once before on like a live stream and people were like, you know, you can use other things other than toilet paper. And I was like, probably. <laughs> I tend to get a very, very, very small bit of like toilet paper or kitchen roll or tissue paper or anything like that and rip it up so that it's literally you have like one layer of it because obviously that kind of paper, can, it's like a few layers. So you need one tiny little layer of it. And what I tend to do, and this is definitely not necessarily like the go-to way of doing it, but it definitely works for me. So I tend to put that on top of the split so you've got to be careful because if there's any sort of draft or you breathe, it just flies to the other end of the room and it's just like, well, that's gone forever. And you drop, well, I drop, the very, very smallest of droplets of this glue onto the tissue paper so that nothing else catches it. So I have like normal nail glue, which is like extra quick dry or something. So you're not kind of like sticking yourself to the couch or anything. <laughs> not happened before. And it basically just kind of, it forms, like I said before, it forms like a little second skin on top of the nail so that you can no longer see the split of it. So try not to get like the nail glue stuck under your nail because that, when, you, when you're fine in your nails, that does come out, but it's very difficult to kind of get all of it. But yeah, nail glue and toilet paper will be your best friends. Yeah, I think the best advice, to be honest, that I've been given is how to practice as opposed to sort of like how to technically play the guitar. Because I think practicing efficiently is one of the most difficult things. What's worked for me most is sort of setting myself little goals that I want to get done throughout the day or throughout one practice session. Because I used to set myself bigger goals of, you know, okay, I'm going to have this piece done by today. And it's kind of a bit like you spend three hours or whatever on it. And then by the end of the day, you haven't, you know, if you haven't done that, you feel like you've really like let yourself down or just not accomplished anything in practice when really you've probably accomplished quite a lot, but you come away feeling quite bad about it. So I think it's really important to sort of, it's a very much like a mental thing, I think, of making yourself feel like you've accomplished something when you have, like giving yourself credit really, because it can feel like a really long uphill struggle. <laughs> That's such a difficult one. You know, I think my favorite piece to play, because I have lots of like pieces that I absolutely love, but I've never played and just love listening to. I think one of my favorite pieces to play is the Saudade number no. three that you released on Sickass channel um, not that long ago, because it's just so fun to play, like it's just, unbelievably kind of like you're everywhere at the same time it's still just got so much like motion to it and rhythm and the three different movements are kind of so contrasting yeah i don't know i just i just love it i love dion's music i think it's great 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 <laughs> That's the beginning of the third movement and it's very kind of like, whoo, hits you in the face. <laughs> I love, um, I mean, I love Saw, I love Barrios. There are just low, there are too many to pick from. <laughs> I very much kind of like, at the moment, I'm like into sort of Barrios quite a lot. What is it? I really, really like Martin Diller. I really love his playing. I think it's just, it's just so expressive and so like, yeah, gets me every time. 
Thank you so much for watching the third and final video um, with Sick Ass Guitars on how to play the classical guitar. The other two parts are on my channel and Sick Ass, so the second is on mine and the first is back on the Sick Ass channel. If you'd like to see more of my videos earlier than they're actually released on YouTube, then I put them all on my Patreon channel a couple of days earlier and there's also loads of other stuff on there as well that I don't put anywhere else. Um, so we'll put the link down below and I hope you're all well. Keep safe.